That is one big pile of straw. Dinosaur poop. Nick, I found a needle. No way. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Lucky day. All right. Let's quickly change the bearing on B spine. Swap the chain out. And we're going to hook back up to the header. As you guys probably have noticed, the header's a little dirty. Yes, we cleaned it up last year. So that can only mean one thing. Yes, we've been in the field already harvesting. I just didn't record it. It was just a trial run. And then we had a squealing bearing that we fixed. But we're over that. And now we're gonna pick it back up again. And we put the header all on the ground and it worked. So let's see if we can get it back up again. Isn't it amazing how powerful those feeder houses are? Pretty sure I know somebody wants to go for a ride. I don't think he's ever been on the combine, to tell the truth. It's always been Kobe. quite a bit and then we got hail a lot of hail and that's not very easy to see and so usually this time of year is in a very exciting time of the year because all the hard work and everything we put in to try to make the best crop that we can and see the fruits of our labor and then you know there's not really going to be a whole lot out there and it's it's discouraging but you know it's okay to be discouraged it's how you go about being discouraged that matters um, and you know what? Count your blessings, and we are truly blessed. There are so many wonderful things that uh, we have been given, and opportunities, and hey, we're still farming, so it's just part of the struggle. Your first combine ride for the season. Just got started today. Gobi, what do you want to do? You want to go? Huh? You want to go? That's quite a ladder. How about over here? Let's try these new tires out. You ready? Wow, he's on a diet. Okay, well, we're in the cab. What do you think? Oh, I better turn the air conditioning on a little cooler because uh, got a warm companion in with me, huh? Good boy, yeah. Like your haircut. Hey guys, welcome back to the farm. We are farming. Harvest season has kicked off. As you saw the combines took off the fields. Um, it's gonna be slow going. Uh, right now they're running about seven to 10 bushels an acre in our peas. Some of this did see some hail, so 
that's one reason why the numbers are a little lower we'll see how it goes the rest of the pea crop but at least half of it's gone so the other half we'll see what we can get i'm gonna go fire the 4520 up with the westfield mkx 130 94 foot 13 inch auger and we are going to go ahead and get some bins ready for some peas I do really like this auger. It's been a really good auger. We've had one season with it so far. Really like it. It's nice being able to drive over the swing out without having to have that extra grain deck. It's just a pain to move around twice. It's all one package and this thing's got pretty high capacity, but it's a little overkill for this grain bin. That's okay though. Overkill's not a problem when you're farming, right? Yeah. Got some spring wheat still sitting around some of the corners, so I'll get a broom and a shovel and clean this out and get it ready for seed. Got to open the top up, put the auger over it. I mean, everything's just slow this year, slow and low key. There's just not going to be a lot of trucks moving. Not going to lie a lot of things, as long as the combines just keep operating around the hours. That's what matters. Got comfortable back in the saddle again. Overall, no, it's working very well. Uh, the crop yield isn't working that well, but we're cutting off this field where it hailed on half of it pretty hard then kind of spread out a little bit more and then the other end didn't get hardly any hail and um, according to that it's running around anywhere from 8 to 12 for the yellow peas um, we get down there where it starts hailing you're getting into the the 5 to 7 4 to 6 3 to 2 and then that 1 0 then so we're cutting what we can, um, but we're glad that um, uh, May West it has uh, provided us with these uh, paddle fingers on the reel. What it does is it fills in between the, those narrow tines. That way, if there's any uh, material that's going to fall through between the tines, it will help pick it up and kick it in. Um, so uh, I see they are helping, so it's good. Uh, on these kind of crops when you have to cut down on the ground they're already short you need all the help you can get first truck of 2021 coming off the field we need about 25 of these more like 30 to fill the contract that we pre-sold already i don't think we're gonna get it and then we need about another three of these including some of the pc we already have on the farm to see next year's crop <laughs> i don't think we're gonna get that either but We'll see, you never know. Some of these peas might do a lot better than we're expecting and some of this hailed ground, we might be able to recover some of it. There we go, first load of 2021 crop, yellow peas going in the bin. This stuff is uh, certified seed, so it's important that we get this stuff. And we're gonna put it on air, it's a little wet, but that's okay. That's okay. Now, the peas that we have here, they're small. We're not used to it that small. They're not like terribly small, but I mean, it still could be used as seed. So this here is actually seed we bought this year and we were hoping to grow more seed for next year. So we're trying to get as much as we can off this field because this is a new variety and we want to update our variety. And we're getting some, but not a, not a whole lot. Oh boy, just had a rock go through the rotor, 
I don't know what kind of damage was done. Hopefully nothing too serious. I'm gonna investigate here and take a look. I think I got it through. It went in so fast, I couldn't even shut it down before it got all, just all the way to the rotor. So I think it went to the rock or the straw chopper and everything else. So let's take a look. Visually, I don't see any knives on the straw chopper broke off from this angle. Obviously I can't see half of them. Uh, the straw spreaders, couple dings, couple dents, nothing out of the ordinary. Let's uh, pull the cover and take a look, see how you look at the rotor. the shop just investigated you can see there's a big mark down there if you look closely right here so the straw chopper had a knife hit a rock and then it uh broke the bolt and then now it's gouging right there we can fix it just a bolt thank goodness we just gotta look on cracks see if there's any type sign that it might come apart because those would be bad if they flung off this thing it spins pretty quick or need new knives Ah, oh, these rocks are bad. It's gonna be a tough year. It's gonna be a tough year for rocks. All right, cool. Pretty sure that was it. So I'm just gonna engage the separator real quick just for a little snip. All right, we'll see if it sounds funky. It's hot here. Woo! Yesterday was nice. Today, not so nice. Hi! Who are you saying hi to? Who? Someone in here? The camera. Who? The camera. Where? The camera. Out there? Oh! <laughs> right there! <laughs> uh oh! Oh, what? Whoa! Did you see that lightning bolt? Yeah. Well, it's not there anymore. It's then and gone. Okay, say bye bye to camera. Bye! Bye bye! Making progress. A little bit of weeds in this, but they came up after the peas finished out, so they're not really affecting the yield. I'm grinding through them, but look at that. 21 bushels an acre. I like it. I like it. If only it was that way across the whole farm. That's not a great year, but on a year like this, that is money. All right, that's it. Day number one is done. Go to bed, start it tomorrow. See you again. Well, we're back in the saddle again. Did you check in, huh? Did you punch your type card? Um, no, he pawed his time card. Did you? Okay, you're another day. Huh? Another day, another bunny. Listen to that. Right there. Got a little piece hit in the sidewall. I want to show you guys something really cool that's going to happen this year with these grain bins. These are these West Steel bins we got from AGI. Well, we added on their bin manager sure track system. So it'll basically keep tabs on what's going on in the grain bin. Because these are larger bins, so there's a lot more potential for stuff to spoil, for things to go wrong. So there's probes in there, there's moisture sensors, temperature sensors, there's all sorts of uh, sensors that then gather data that then tell the system, should it kick the fan on, should it turn the fan off, cool the peas down, add moisture by pumping in cool air in the night that's humid. A lot of really cool things, we're excited about it, we'll be able to handle all that remotely. I'll keep you guys updated on how that goes, but I'm excited to try it out. Just got back to the field and dad had an alarm come on and a bunch of smoke surrounded the combine. Fortunately, it was just a belt slip and we think it's a straw chop, but the back end of this thing is plugged up tight. We don't know what happened. He said the spreader alarm was going on saying the straw spreaders weren't working or speed was low, um, but it happened quick. So I'm gonna pick this up, pull it all out, dig in there. It's gonna get fun. I'm gonna swim in some pea chaff. And hopefully find out that nothing serious is done because I don't want to calm my down right now. That'd be bad news. Woo! He's packed. He might have gotten a rock stuck in one of these spreaders here. And then it might have jammed it up and then it just kept backfilling and did this. We'll find out shortly.
And we're back. We got shut down for a little bit. Decided to take a break while the crop dried out and a little bit of rain we got. Um, it was actually my grandma's 91st birthday, so it worked out a great time to eat some cake, celebrate her birthday. She's the last of the Welker family of that generation from the farm. But uh, yeah, another storm coming right there. It's coming down on top of us. I am stopping and I am gonna drive back to the truck. There's lightning coming down everywhere. It's not coming down super hard, but it's definitely gonna make things a little tacky. It was a, it looked like a pretty good system coming over, but over there it's raining real hard. Yeah, that would sure stink to get a combine struck by lightning. That'd take it out of commission for a while. Oh Ooh. my goodness, did you see that one? Yes, I did. I like literally turned my camera off right now. That was a massive one. All right, let this thing cool down. Shut it down, get out, and then um, come back tomorrow. The peas in the hopper will get a little bit of water on them, but they'll blend and mix out when we throw this on air tomorrow anyways in the bin, so it'll be okay. Okay. 